Hi there, it's Jay from AffiliateResources.org and I'm going to show you today how to find a how-to keyword in you know whatever niche that we come up with. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go to Google and I want you to start typing in how-to. Now as you've seen what's happened is we've got a drop down and it's given us 10 relevant results as we're typing in our search query. So what this is telling us is uh, Google is giving us what they perceive is the best result for us based on what we type in and based on uh, what is popular in terms of search. Okay, so here's what I've done is I'm going to go how to and then I'm going to press a space and then I'm actually going to go through the alphabet. So I'm going to go how to A, and, and really what I'm going to do is just let Google tell me what's popular. So how to A, so then it goes ask a girl out, apply eyeshadow, ask a girl to the prom, uh, eyeliner, address an envelope, ask a girl to be your girlfriend. See now what I did was I selected that one and that looks like a pretty good keyword to promote some uh, some dating um, product right so if I actually just go ahead and search that and I look at the search results 1.03 million results so 1 million 30,000 results in Google now if I do this in quotes what we're doing is we're asking Google, Google how many websites have that exact uh, phrase within their website. 25,000. So basically we have 25,000 um, pages competing that we would be competing uh, in Google. Now I actually wouldn't be promoting this merely because um, the first result here is an eHow result. Uh, which is an authority domain, an authority website, and which makes it actually very difficult to uh, rank or to, to beat in terms of the rankings. So what we would do is we would just go back to our Google and just start again. How to A, ask a girl to be your girlfriend. So what we can do is we can just start going B, how to, let's see if there's anything that looks good how to build a deck. So that looks good. So now if I if I select that and if I had press space it's probably going to give me more results. How to build a deck step by step. How to build a deck on the ground, around a pool, video, perfect. How to build a deck for a hot tub. Bet you that's pretty popular. And if we do that in quotes 21,400 21, results. Again, it's eHow. Oh, and we've got a, a second link there. Okay. So that's, we would move on and try C. How to calculate BMI. Let's try D. How to download, how to delete, how to draw cartoons. Step by step. How to draw cartoon step by step for beginners. That's pretty good. And now I should mention that there we go 10,200 results. So what this is showing us is that actually has pretty low um, low competition. And you notice that I'm not even uh, doing any research on uh, on how to um, on on how popular the search term is, right? I mean, I actually don't even care about that right now. So if I actually, I bet if I took uh, found a product, obviously we want to find a product on drawing cartoons, and if I built a Squidoo lens, got some backlinks to it, or even built a Weebly uh, page and got some backlinks to it, uh, I could probably rank pretty good. I could probably rank on the first page for this and uh, pretty much make some commissions, right? So, uh, you know, depending on on what, uh, when you're watching this video, you know, uh, you might want to 
take a stab at that. So I'm going to wrap that up. But uh, what I would like to say is don't be uh, don't be limited to the how to niche, right? You can also try where to buy. Now that is a pretty hot keyword, right? Where to buy uh, fondant. So we could just go through a a cyberry, no. <laughs> uh, B how to where to buy borax boxes beeswax. That's pretty interesting. Where to buy beeswax for pool table. All right. So what I would do is um, that's pretty targeted right there. And so basically what I would do is is find those find these how to and where to buy keywords and I would really just create um, a squidoo lens uh, for each one of these and build some backlinks to it so you get a uh, first page result and um, yeah and then go from there. You know that's pretty much a, a, a real no brainer when it comes to because these are such little tiny micro uh, niches that uh, because there may not be a lot of traffic not a searches for this but according to what Google is telling me um, people are searching for this right so that's pretty good I'm pretty happy with that okay alright well this is Jay from affiliate resources.org thank you for watching and if you have any questions feel free to uh, uh, head over to our website affiliate resources.org and uh, head over to the contact button and ask a question alright thank you very much